New Life with Drs. Norman and Debbie Thomas. A Day and Evening with Drs. Norman and Debbie Thomas, July 18, 2015, at the Lafayette Hilton in Lafayette, Louisiana at 11 a.m. Lunch will be provided, and at Reeves Uptown Catering in Lake Charles, Louisiana at 5 p.m. Dinner will be provided. Hi, I'm Pastor Norman Thomas. And I'm Debbie Thomas. We're here to invite you to New Life Lunch in Lafayette and in Lake Charles. These luncheons have a specific purpose in mind. They are designed to give you an opportunity to fellowship with people from your local area and to enjoy lunch around the world. Doctors Norman and Debbie Thomas look forward to personally meeting you and sharing the Word of God with you in this setting. Join the New Life community of partners and friends of our radio television broadcast. You may call us at 337-433-1111 or visit us online at www.nlcinternational.org to register for this event. Registration is free. You don't want to miss this. Can't wait to see you. My gift is, is spreading the gospel the best way I can to as many young adults, uh, youth out there in the world uh, to really try to get to understand they truly uh, gift from God. I believe my gift is to empower and to teach uh, women and the ministry the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, God has uh, uh, given me this gift of uh, talking to other people about uh, uh, you know, interacting and connecting with other people very easily. The Bible says in Proverbs 18 and 16 that a man's or woman's gift will make room for them and bring them before great people of influence. This speaks to the fact that we're all carrying something very valuable. It's treasure that is hidden on the inside of us. And it's not hidden from you, it's hidden for you. It's hidden for your discovery. And when you discover the gift that you're carrying, it will totally transform your life. I call it an upgrade. It's an upgrade in living, it's what it is. Because it carries with it all the significance uh, that you need to exist in this earth, all the significance that you were created for in this earth, it carries all of that, the purpose, the design, everything. Now, let's do this because what I want you to understand is the nature. There's a DNA to this gift that's inside of you. And I discovered through the Word of God that if I can learn about God's gift, then I can learn about my own gift. You say, God has a gift? Yes, God has a gift. And it's found in the paramount scripture of John 3.16 and verse 17. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And then verse 17 gives us more insight about this gift. It says, For God did not send his Son, the gift, into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through this gift might experience salvation. Now, there's a lot of things that is wrapped in that passage of scripture, but let's just talk about one of them for just a moment. The motivation for the gift that you carry, for God so loved the world he gave. So what's God's motivation for the gift that he carried? It's love. And we're not talking about human love or love as you know it or love as you define it because we know that our human love is highly conditional. It's based on how we're feeling. It's based on what's going on around us. It's based on all the, the circumstances, the reactions that we're, that we're experiencing. No, we're talking about God's love. God's love must be the motivation for the gift that is on the inside of you because that love, his love, will give you the necessary ingredients to apply this gift to whomever it has been designed for. In other words, without prejudice, without preferences, the gift that you carry is made for people and it is motivated by God's love. You say, well, 
I don't know if I can love that way. I don't know if I'm capable of just loving any and everybody. Well, once you're in Christ, you are. Because the Bible says that the love of God has been shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And so God has literally downloaded his love into you for humanity. And there are people that you can now love that you didn't know you were capable of loving. And many times we are trained to not love people. We are really taught to not love people for whatever reasons that we carry. But when you're in Christ, you are retrained to love everybody, especially those to whom the gift you carry has been designed for. Love is one of the greatest, is the greatest motivation of all of all times. And it's that love, God's love, that's going to activate the gift that you carry. I think the uh, teaching from Pastor Norman was absolutely wonderful. It, um, it brought clarity to some things that I was already thinking about and some uh, things that uh, God had been sp speaking to me already about. Now you have the opportunity to receive the full version of these powerful teachings by Dr. Norman Thomas Jr. The gift you carry will help you to identify your gift, understand the power of your gift, and develop a gift consciousness. When God created you, He did just that. He deposited inside of you an awesome gift just waiting to be developed and waiting to be dispensed. To receive these teachings, call us at 337-433-1111 or write us today at New Life P.O. Box 1186, Lake Charles, Louisiana 70602 or go online to nlcinternational.org. Get started on discovering your gift today. You know, the love of God is so critical to understanding the gift because in Romans eleven twenty nine 29, it tells us that God has given us a gift and that that gift, according to the Amplified Bible, is irrevocable, is irreversible. In other words, God never changes his mind about what he's deposited on the inside of you, nor does he change his mind about you. You see, you change your mind about you all the time. But God never changes his mind about you. You say, well, I don't know if God really likes me today. I don't know if he really is. I don't know if he's pleased with me right now. Let me tell you this. You will never be able to change God's opinion of you, no matter what you do. Sure, he's not pleased with everything you do, but he's pleased with you. He has decided, not based on what you do, but based on what he has done, he's decided to love you despite you. And he has confidence that one day you will awaken to the powerful love that he has for you, that it will drive you to him. Now, love is the foundation of the gift that you carry, not only for you, but for those that your gift has been made for. For God so loved the world that he gave. The second thing I want to tell you about God's gift is that God's gift has a target. In other words, there's a, there's a target group that is designed for God's gift. And then likewise, there's a target group designed for your gift. What is that target group? It's people. We taught a message here months ago called Open Door Policy that God has an open door policy, that God is not closing the door of the church to anyone, that God is not closing his love off to anyone, that God's door is open. And all we have to do as members of the body of Christ and as the church is to learn how to operate according to God's way of doing things and not man's way of doing things. You see, for many, many years, I believe the church has been guilty of shutting people off and closing the door to people that God is trying to reach. God has an open door policy and we don't get to regulate who comes in and who doesn't come in. God says, if you're going to work with me, you're going to open your door to everyone. Because God has more confidence in his love for humanity than all the issues that people have and, and all the junk that's going on in their lives. God is not intimidated by your junk. 
and he's not intimidated by anyone's issues or anyone's inadequacies or anyone's weaknesses. God's, he's, he's confident that his love is enough to, to amend and to, and to make vibrant the lives of those that will yield to him and surrender to his lordship. So the gift you carry is for everybody. It's for everybody that God will bring you in the path of reaching. The idea is that we make an impact. The idea is that we continue to reach people on behalf of God because in God's mind, his desire is for everybody to experience this salvation. And I want to talk to you more about this salvation component and what that actually is. And the gift is designed to facilitate salvation in the earth to humanity. Don't, under, um, don't ever underestimate the gift that you carry. It's not only designed for you to be all that God has created you to be, it's designed to reach people. There are people, I believe, that are standing in line waiting on you to execute your gift. If every individual, if every human person would find their gift that God has put in them, that gift is not just for them, it's not for us to hoard, but it's for us to share. And, and for him sharing that with us now and teaching us that, I think that we are, it's equipping us to go out and to really do the kingdom of God's work right here on earth. Now you have the opportunity to receive the full version of these powerful teachings by Dr. Norman Thomas Jr. The gift you carry will help you to identify your gift, understand the power of your gift, and develop a gift consciousness. When God created you, He did just that. He deposited inside of you an awesome gift, just waiting to be developed and waiting to be dispensed. To receive these teachings, call us at 337-433-1111 or write us today at New Life P.O. Box 1186, Lake Charles, Louisiana 70602 or go online to nlcinternational.org. Get started on discovering your gift today. So Jesus is the gift of God. He's the gift of God. And the more we know about Jesus, then the more we know about God's gift, and the more we know about God's gift, I believe we learn more about our own gift. Because God's gift is the prototype of all gifts. And so let's look at this passage again and see what more can we learn about Jesus, God's gift. John 3, 16 and 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him would not perish, but have everlasting life. Then verse 17, For God did not send His Son into the world, or He did not give His gift to humanity, to condemn humanity, or that the world may be condemned, but that through the gift men might be saved. Now, what we can learn about God's gift, Jesus, we also learn about our own gift. Verse 17 says that God did not execute His gift for the purpose of condemnation, or guilt, or shame, or even fear for that matter. So what that tells me about my gift is that I should never use my gift as an instrument of condemnation, or an instrument to uh, push or to advocate fear, or guilt, or shame in someone's life. <clears throat> so I'm going to use my gift to raise people up. I'm going to use my gift to encourage people and to push people forward and to give them insight as to all that they can be, not to badger them, not to make them feel worse than perhaps what they're already feeling. No, he says not that the world may be condemned, but that the world through the gift might experience salvation. And that's another thing, is that salvation in my mind for a long time uh, had to deal with me dying and going to heaven before I could have it. But salvation is not just excluded to my life in heaven or in eternity, but most of salvation experience is going to be experienced right here in the earth. Here's the reason I say that.
The word salvation in the Greek, it implies preservation, safety, well-being, uh, protection, and, and many, many, many other attributes such as this. What, is, what am I saying? Well, in heaven, uh, I don't need to be protected in heaven. I don't need to be prospered in heaven. I don't need to be preserved in heaven. Why? Because all of these attributes, uh, they are the state of heaven. Where I need protection, where I need care, where I need well-being is in the earth. So most of my salvation experience is going to happen right here in the earth. And so my gift, the gift I carry, should be to <clears throat> advocate and to push forward the idea of people's protection, people's preservation, people's well-being, so forth and so on. And so is the characterization of your gift. I believe that the gift that we have inside of us has a DNA. It's a spiritual DNA and is directly linked to the divine character of God himself. Just as God's gift, Jesus, is designed to bring life to humanity, your gift is designed to bring life to humanity. Uh, the teachings on the gift, uh, it's been a great insight for us. Uh, we've been meditating more on, on that, on the gift, and not actually after listening to Pastor Norm, but you take that home because there's so much that you can take out of that gift and teaching. So we've been meditating on at home, and, and I, me personally, I have discovered that I have focused, I, has, I stopped focusing on me and I started focusing on the people. Now you have the opportunity to receive the full version of these powerful teachings by Dr. Norman Thomas Jr. The gift you carry will help you to identify your gift, understand the power of your gift, and develop a gift consciousness. When God created you, He did just that. He deposited inside of you an awesome gift, just waiting to be developed and waiting to be dispensed. To receive these teachings, call us at 337-433-1111 or write us today at New Life P.O. Box 1186, Lake Charles, Louisiana 70602 or go online to nlcinternational.org. Get started on discovering your gift today. So once again, the more we learn about God's gift, we learn about our gift. And God's gift, as you know, is Jesus. And so the more we know about Jesus, the gift of God, the more we know about what we're carrying on the inside of us because the characterization of Jesus is directly linked to the characterization of the gift you carry. I want to read you a passage of scripture that we kind of left off on the last clip. It's found in Luke chapter 4, and this is when Jesus is just getting ready to launch into his ministry. He experienced a time of separation and fasting and praying. And then he came, and he came to the temple, and he, and he picked up the scroll and began to read from the book of Isaiah. And here's what he says in verse 18, Luke 4, 18. He says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. You see... The anointing, the enablement, divine enablement, comes with the gift you carry. You know, there are people uh, that desire this enablement. They desire to be anointed, but they desire it separate and apart from the gift that they carry. And my uh, belief is, is that the anointing is for the gift. That you first need to have recognition of the gift that you're carrying. And then there is a need or a demand then is placed on the anointing that comes for the gift. That makes the gift work. That empowers the gift to flow. And so notice what Jesus says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captives and the recovering of sight to the blind and 
uh, to set at liberty them that are bruised and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. I like this passage of scripture because it's very direct, very clear. Notice, I'm just going to use a couple of them. It says, heal the brokenhearted, deliverance to the captives, recovery of sight to the blind. Let's just use those. To heal the brokenhearted, to bring deliverance to the captives, and to recover sight to the blind. Notice, heal, deliver, recover. These are strong, strong characterizations of the gift you carry. The gift you carry is designed to heal, it is designed to deliver, it is designed to bring insight or to bring revelation to those who are spiritually blind. Now, notice, to heal who? Those that need to be healed. To deliver who? Those who are captive. To bring sight to who? Those who can't see. So notice, the gift is satisfying a need. The gift is solving a problem. The gift is bringing relief to people who are oppressed by this world or this world system or even Satan himself. That's what your gift is for. Your gift is not just to make you rich. Your gift is not just to make you famous. No, you become famous perhaps. You may even become uh, prosperous and, and develop a degree of wealth as a result of you working the gift because it's, it's, it's there to provide for you as well. But the primary thrust is for you to bring relief to humanity, to prevent misfortune in the lives of people. You're carrying something very, very powerful. And I'm hoping that these teachings are helping you to understand the magnitude of what you have on the inside of you. Your problems are solved from the inside out. These teachings on the gifts have been um, very insightful. They let me be able to look and see the types of things that uh, work in my life and beyond what I do and what I've learned, just what is at the core heart of my being, of, of who I am greater than what I do. Now you have the opportunity to receive the full version of these powerful teachings by Dr. Norman Thomas Jr. The gift you carry will help you to identify your gift, understand the power of your gift, and develop a gift consciousness. When God created you, He did just that. He deposited inside of you an awesome gift just waiting to be developed and waiting to be dispensed. To receive these teachings, call us at 337-433-1111 or write us today at New Life P.O. Box 1186, Lake Charles, Louisiana 70602 or go online to nlcinternational.org. Get started on discovering your gift today. Hi, I'm Pastor Norman Thomas. One of the things that God has given us the awesome privilege to do is to go to the nations of the world for the purpose of training and development of pastors and ministry leaders. One of the things that he has instructed us to do is to take the message of faith to the nations of the world and the message of the kingdom of God and teach pastors and teach leaders how to implement these disciplines in their churches and in the ministries that they will receive. And so we were privileged to go to the nation of Colombia. Colombia borders on the northern part of South America, neighboring the nation of Panama. One of the most beautiful places that you ever want to see is the city of Cartagena, Colombia. Over 1,600 people gathered together at our International Faith Conference there in Cartagena. This conference was amazing. And one of the things that made it so amazing was the gathering together and the united force of the church there to bring such an awesome presentation of the love of God. Through the worship, for example, teams from different churches came together, worked tirelessly uh, all up months and weeks before the conference so that there would be an excellent worship presentation for the gathering of people. And it was awesome. The word was strong. Pastor Ernesto Alamon from Bogota, Colombia was there to present the word. He presented the word with fire and it was charged with 
so much anointing and so much energy that the people were ignited in their spirits to step it up and to go to another level in their faith. And then we had a, a businessman from the United States, from our city home in the U.S., Lake Charles, Louisiana. John Stelly was there and talked about how is it that God is able to take you and to cause you to succeed in life through business, connecting the business world to the spiritual world, letting people know that God is seeking out anointed businessmen and anointed businesswomen and partnering them up together with the church to advance the kingdom of God. And Merlon Devine from Maryland here in the U.S. was with us also. He accompanied us each night as we ministered. He also ministered on the saxophone and did an outstanding job. And then Dr. Debbie was there also ministering to the women and over 600 women were gathered together to meet her and to receive the word that God had placed upon her heart for them. Their lives were ministered to tremendously. We were honored to have uh, a couple of the political leaders of Cartagena, Colombia, who, who attended the conference. And they allowed us to pray for them and to release the anointing and the blessing of God over their lives and over the commission that they have received from God to, to govern the city and to govern the nation of Colombia. I was personally able to see and to witness the impact upon the lives of the people that gathered there. Lives being changed, hearts being touched, people's lives totally being impacted by the ministry of the word and the anointing that was present during these meetings. And I, I tell you again that this is only possible because we made a decision and you made a decision. We made a decision to go and you made a decision to support us. And because of that partnership, we're able to impact the lives of hundreds of people. I want to keep doing this. And I think it's the assignment that is on our lives and on this ministry to do just that. And with your partnership, we will. Thank you so much. It has been our pleasure to spend time with you today. We trust that you have received insight from Dr. Thomas's teachings. If you would like to know more about our ministry, please visit our website at nlcinternational.org. If you would like a copy of today's broadcast, call us at 337-433-1111 or write us today at New Life. P.O. Box 1186, Lake Charles, Louisiana 70602. Please be sure to note the date of the broadcast with your request. Doctors Norman and Debbie Thomas extend an invitation to you to visit one of our worship services at 3000 East Goche Road in Lake Charles, Louisiana. You will find a schedule of the worship times on our website at nlcinternational.org. On behalf of Drs. Norman and Debbie Thomas, thanks for being with us again today. New Life, the best place to start again.